Canada has one of the highest gun ownership rates in the world, around 35 guns per 100 people. Activities like hunting and shooting are popular in many parts of the country, especially in rural areas. These new rules will make it illegal to sell, transport or use more than a thousand types of weapon, effective immediately. There's a two-year amnesty period in which people who currently own these types of guns will be able to return them. It comes after the murder of 22 people in Nova Scotia at the end of April, Canada's worst mass shooting. Canada doesn't have a right to bear arms enshrined in its constitution, unlike its southern neighbour, the United States. Neither does it have the history of mass shootings that the USA does. <laughs> Nevertheless, getting rid of these types of weapons was a campaign promise of Justin Trudeau in the 2015 election. We often hear the phrase semi-automatic weapons being used, but what does it mean? Well, it means guns like these, which might look like they'd be better placed in the hands of the military than your average citizen, usually with some kind of semi-automatic feature, meaning they can fire a lot of bullets in very quick succession. Serious business, and now illegal. These weapons were designed for one purpose and one purpose only to kill the largest number of people in the shortest amount of time. There is no use and no place for such weapons in Canada. But the ban is controversial. A petition against it started in December has more than 175,000 signatures. And those opposed to the ban highlight that many of the weapons used in violent crime were illegally owned anyway saying the Prime Minister should do more to stop illegal guns coming into Canada from the US instead of targeting law-abiding gun owners. Rich Preston, BBC News.